Alrighty. You know, well, whatever, D4 Sean. You want to respond to any of my comments or any of my videos? That's great. I mean, apparently, I'm illogical and irrational because I came to different conclusion than you did. At least that's what everyone's saying. But you know what? Just because somebody seen different circumstances in their life, you know, I've seen different shit than you did. I used to be an anarchist. I've, I've argued anarchy, defended it, and then I, through circumstances in my life, I came to a different conclusion. Does that make me irrational? Anyways, though... I just want to point out a couple of the key fucking retardedness flaws in anarchy. Start off easy. You will openly fucking defend the freedoms and rights of the bigot while not the ones of the minorities. Does that make any sense to you? You know, shouldn't the minorities have the rights to live where, walk where, buy whatever the fuck he wants? Just because his different skin colors make him inferior. But no. Your ideology, that does not fit. Because that would be telling somebody you can't be an asshole. Also, you'll defend the rights of the poor business owner. But not the ones of the exploited worker. Because you'll say, well hey, it's his property, he's doing him a favor by opening a business. But you know what you don't understand is, People are dependent on putting food on their table. You would probably say, you know, go back to some agrarian fucking, you know, live off the land bullshit if you don't like working in a business. But, you know, we're progressive here, alright? We're trying to move forward. We don't want to go back to that shit. Anyways, though, what rights does that worker have when he goes to get a job in the job market? None? I mean, he's just, you're just asking to exploit the little guy. I mean, what corporation hired you? <laughs> I mean, shouldn't that worker be given the right not to work his ass off and still be able to put enough food on the table? I mean, come on, eight hours a day? That's that's the reasonable number nowadays. Eight hours a day, five days a week, right? Your fucking theory is, you know, no, we're going to have to work the, whatever the business owner dictates to us. I mean, I'm just pointing out some of the key fucking things that make me turn off to this idea. You know, your freedom is not freedom. You know, fairness is freedom. You know, there was a time in history where, because I mean, I know you guys fucking support privatizing the schools because it's so much more efficient and so much better. You know what, there was a time in fucking history well, not everybody got to go to school. They were called serfs. They worked the land. They didn't get to learn, read, or write, or any of that bullshit. You know, the public education system may be flawed. You know, it can be fixed. It can be improved. But you know what? Everybody's given the same opportunities as everybody else. Everybody gets to learn how to read, write. They're given the basics, all right? There was a time in history where not everybody got that same treatment. You want to go back to this, you know, the nobles get to go to school and the rest of you, well, you know what? You should have been born a noble. Yep, you should have just been born a noble. You should have, your parents should have worked harder. You know, what the fuck's up with that? That is not, that's your freedom. Alright? That is not, that, that's bullshit. That's a rigged fucking game. You know, that's. You have said yourself, the laws of fucking nature. You can't overcome the laws of nature. Yes, you motherfucking can. Alright, uh, we can make a fair game. And that's just it. You know, I ain't, you can argue me. I don't give a fuck. Go ahead or not. Peace out.